For me, I think this is the uh, best living example of inclusivity I've ever encountered anywhere in the world, and um, that's just a spirit that draws me back. Circular has an old soul and a young heart. Open and uncertain. Deeply heartfelt welcoming. Filled with loving people. Circular has become a really good home um, for our family. This is my family. When Circular Congregational Church was founded in 1681, Charlestown was walled to protect its residents from Indian raids and pirates. When the church was 100 years old, it loaned 17,000 pounds to the Continental Congress to aid the Revolutionary War effort to free America from British rule. When the church was 150 years old, it had 2,000 members, black and white, slave and free, and occupied a sanctuary built as a circle so large it could accommodate all the members in a single service. When the church was 180 years old, its sanctuary burned to the ground in the Great Fire of 1861, and the church family was devastated by the Civil War. Like a forest fire that sears and destroys the forest floor but allows new life and new growth, the church survived, rebuilt, and has flourished. This church, rooted in such rich history, lives in the present as an open and affirming community. It includes people who are of different political views, ethnic or racial heritages, different religious backgrounds and lifestyles. Not simply toleration, but inclusiveness makes the church ground zero for this city in striving for racial progress, economic justice, environmental stewardship, support for public education, and gender equity. No matter who you are, no matter where you're going, no matter where you've been on life's journey, you are welcome here. We don't just profess our Christian faith in the pews on Sunday morning. We live it all the time. We are actively engaged in the community. We come together from all walks of life, from all sorts of vocations and avocations to form our church. I think one of the things that's unique about Circular is that it's rooted in centuries of history. And so when you come to this building, you get a sense of place, you get a sense of people. There's a graveyard, there are historic buildings. And that, that sense of rootedness is very strong here. But at the same time, there's also a, a really creative, modern, relevant theology. So there's a progressive people and engaged in issues, working for justice. And so there's a feeling of currentness. And there's a feeling that we're engaged in the city and in what's happening. And so this idea that we're rooted in the past, but we're very present and we're working on things here and now, I think that's a really strong combination for people. My first visit, I was warmly embraced by so many people in the congregation. So I felt at home almost immediately. One of the things I value here at Circular is the opportunity to go out and make a difference. I believe that people here are really um, engaged in real spiritual exploration and growth, asking questions, and then they're taking those things and going out and doing something with it practically. So it's that balance of spiritual growth and spiritual application. It's open without being wishy-washy. It's clear we stand for uh, a real faith and that we are uh, committed to speaking out, telling truth to power in the community, but also taking care of one another. It's a funny combination, but I think it works. I felt comfortable. It's a really thoughtful and welcoming group. I would say that Circular is a, is a place for everybody. It's welcoming to different people, but also to uh, different theologies, different ways of seeing God. It's a diverse in terms of people, thought, and beliefs, and it's progressive both uh, environmentally and socially. We like the living the questions mindset, the challenging perspective of spirituality that Circular offers. Circular is my comfort zone. This is a fine community of faith. The people are just wonderful. The day I stepped into this church, my name was remembered, not so much because it was easy, but because people wanted us here. Long story short, at the end of the service, we were walking out and she said, I can live in Charleston. I can't imagine living in Charleston without Circular Church. I think the best thing about Circular is that everyone is truly welcome here. So this is a community where everyone can come, whoever they are, wherever they are. So we welcome men and women, old and young, gay and straight, black and white, poor and rich, 
traditional believer and skeptic, everybody is welcome here. And so we say that everybody brings a certain light from their own experience and then we, we gather in this community, we can see more than any of us could see alone and we get a glimpse of something much larger than ourselves. And that's, that's really what makes it a special place is that everyone is welcome and celebrated for who they really are. No matter where you've been, you are welcome here. You are welcome here.